I want to start off with thanking everybody that was involved. Um, you know, recruiting is a group effort. Um, it's not just the coaching staff, but it's really important that our players do a good job. Um, I think that our, I want to thank our president for coming every Saturday morning, giving up our Saturday morning, coming in to the alumni house, having breakfast with us, um, and really evaluating our kids that we were bringing in and selling the program. Um, Brian Mackin um, and his staff, um, you know, of Shannon, um, Dorita, they came every Saturday morning. Um, they stood up, they had introductions with all of our kids. They did a really good job of selling our program. Our faculty, our staff came out every Saturday morning. They sit with our kids. They were a part of evaluating the kids that we brought in, which was important to us. We wanted to bring in the right kids that were going to fit our university. And uh, there's one time when Denez came to me and said, this kid may not fit with us based on the way that he's studying or understanding what's going on during the academic meeting. So I really appreciate that. We want to thank the people at the Winfrey Hotel. Um, I think that our official visits were as good as they've ever been in my career. Um, we were able to have everything that we possibly needed. Um, if we wanted to make an adjustment or any changes, um, Travis got with the ladies out there. One of them is a UAB grad. She did a good job of taking care of us, doing everything we needed her to do. Um, I think our coaching staff, starting with Tyson, um, when we kept Tyson on the staff, it was just for one month in December, it was just me, Tyson, our graduate assistants, um, Mac, Travis, and um, we all sit back there the whole month of December and we got this state organized so that when our coaching staff came in, we knew exactly where to send them because we knew we were going to be pressed for time. Um, so I think our coaching staff did a good job, obviously starting with Tyson. And then when the rest of our guys got here, they did a fantastic job of, number one, understanding what UAB is all about and buying into what UAB is all about. We were only looking for certain kids. We were only interested in a certain profile of kid. That's the only kid that they went after. They did a good job of selling the family atmosphere that I'm looking for. And I think that that's why our kids jumped on board so fast. Um, last but not least, I definitely want to thank our players um, that are on our team now. Uh, when you bring camp, you know, students on campus, your players are hosting them. And we had something that I believe in. It's called the player panel where, you know, a group of our players come in and the coaches leave and they sit with the recruits and the parents and the parents get to ask the kids, um, you know, any question that they wanted. Um, Frank Messina was a part of that player panel. And every home that I went into after that, they said that was a huge part of the reason they came here because of our kids talking about how much they loved UAB and the direction that the um, program was headed in. Um, and they got, our kids got to tell them that what we were selling about the tutors and about our academic situation, that was all true. Um, and a lot of parents told me that that's you know, pretty much what made them feel comfortable sending their kid here. You know, another thing that I'm really excited about, um, I really don't like to pat myself on the back much, but um, when I was here for my um, press conference, um, I, I was asked the reason I would take the job here, and the answer was I took the job because I thought that in this state there are more football players and great high school coaches to go around. That I thought that, you know, there are enough players in this state that for us to only recruit Alabama kids and that we can win a Conference USA championship just recruiting in-state. And, you know, it worked. It was true. It's confirmed that our coaching staff went out. The coaches really enjoyed talking with us. Um, they were really open towards us. Um, they had kids in their programs that were committed to being great students. They also were interested in coming to UAB. I brought a lot of um, coaches on campus so that they could see our facilities and see where we were right now. And a lot of guys, coaches that were at big time programs around here, went in our weight room and they said, I did not know that this weight room was here. I took them in our training room and they said, I had no idea that this training room at this school was this big and this nice. So a lot of coaches around here didn't know what was going on. Once we got out and started to spread the word of the direction we were headed and what we thought of this place, you know, we, we were welcomed with open arms. So there's no doubt that there's enough players in this state um, that a Conference USA program can survive on in-state players. Now, what we're looking for, um, we were looking for great students. There are also great players, okay? 
And I would always tell the kids that, you know, a great student that was not a great player, that wasn't pretty much, that was not what I was looking for at all. But a great player that was not interested in being a good student, that wasn't going to fire us up either. We were looking for both. And so that's the number one thing our coaching staff went out looking for. Second thing is we wanted high school kids. We wanted to build our foundation on high school kids. We didn't want to go out and sign a lot of junior college kids and look to put a Band-Aid on our program. We wanted to build it with the foundation of high school kids that were from the state of Alabama and that they were winners on and off the field. That's what we talked about. And uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy to be able to say that um, you know, 23, I believe, out of our 25 are high school students. Um, 17 out of the 23 that came, that they sent their um, facts in this morning, 17 of them are from the state of Alabama. Um, nine of them are from the Birmingham area. So we got exactly what we're looking for. Our coaches did a fantastic job of sticking to the plan and never deviating from our plan. Um, we wanted to build our team starting in Birmingham and then throughout the state of Alabama. And we got 17 kids that are signed with us today that are here from the state. And that was something that was really important to us. Um, I want to go into the introductions of each kid now. I think they got it here. And I'll say a brief statement on each kid. Uh, we'll start. There's two kids that are already on our campus, Josh Greer. Josh is the quarterback from Arlington, Texas. Um, Josh is a kid that I was recruiting when I was at the University of Arkansas. I developed a really good relationship with Josh and his parents. Um, once I got the job here, Josh was one of the first guys that I called, told him that things had changed. His parents told, told me that, they had, that the relationship that we had built um, over the year um, was strong enough that they wanted Josh to come play for us here at UAB. He had been on our campus before. Uh, I, I really thank you for that because he had um, a vision of our program. And then I think when we got here with our system and the way we're going to go about our business, he jumped on board. He's already on campus in the off-season program with Coach Chandler. And we're really happy to have Josh with us. Cortez Webb is the next kid. He's a defensive back. He's a free safety. We call him open safety and tight safety. So he's an open safety, which means he plays in the post. Um, he's from Butler County Community College. Um, Butler is one of the most successful junior college programs in the country. Um, that's the school that I recruited um, when I was at the University of Arkansas. I have a great relationship with the coach. I know the discipline in the program. I know what type of kids that they put out. Um, I got a chance to have a conversation with Cortez's mom, and I asked her what she was looking for for the kid, and she said, I'm looking for a place where he can get a good education. That I don't really know about football. I don't care about football. I want him to go somewhere where he can get a good education. And then I said, well, we, I think I got the place for you. Um, just so happens your kids are really tall, 6'2", free safety, that can really help us. Those two kids are on campus right now. Like I said, they're, in, they're a part of Coach Chandler's off-season workout program. They're going to be um, you know, really special for us. We're glad that they're going to be in spring ball with us. Now, as far as the facts that came in this morning, the guys we got, the best thing I will say about these guys that I'm about to introduce now, uh, all over the country, I personally think that um, signing day has become almost like a circus. Um, with kids waiting to the last day, um, kids playing games with coaches, um, which I don't think is right. Um, and I will say that these kids that sent us, we had no surprises. Um, our kids were committed two weeks ago. We didn't even have a recruiting weekend last weekend. We weren't worried about it. The kids were coming here. They were committed to us. They were a part of our family. We had no stress this morning or any of that. We knew that we were going to get the kids we got. And I appreciate these guys for getting up this morning, sending their faxes in to us early. First guy is Cameron Blankenship. Cameron is a six foot four, 305 pound offensive lineman from Alexander City, Alabama. Um, Benjamin Russell High School. Um, Cameron is a member of the National Honor Society. He was recruited by Harvard, Brown, Princeton. Um, when I got here and started watching the film, um, we wanted to start with offensive linemen. Cameron is big. He understands how to bend his knees. He's really athletic. Um, he wanted to be a UAB Blazer. When I talked to him on the phone, he was all excited. I can feel his energy through the phone. Um, but he's a six foot four, 200 or 305 pound kid that we're really excited to have. 
The next kid is Kelton Brackett. Kelton is a 5'11", 186-pound defensive back. He's a corner from Mobile, Alabama, Blount High School. Um, I was able to go down there and meet with him and his coach. Um, his coach is Kevin Sigler. He's cousins with Ron, um, our receiver coach. Kelton, he has tremendous anticipation. He's able to, you know, read combination routes and make adjustments. He's confident enough to trust what he sees. Um, we're really happy to have him. He's a good student. Um, and I think the kid has the confidence to stand out on the corner and defend the pass um, like you have to do in this conference because this is a spread out um, passing league. The next kid is Devon Brown. He's a, another defensive back. He's a corner. He's 5'11", 182 pounds from Birmingham, Alabama, Spain Park High School. I had a chance to go talk to Chip Lindsay, his coach, for a while. Um, Chip and I have a lot in common. We both really are passionate about the quarterback position. So we sit in his office, me, him, and Tyson sit in his office for about an hour talking about quarterback play. And then it dawned on us that we were really there talking about recruits. Um, and then we had to, you know, readjust what we're talking about. Um, th there's another example of how the high school coaches really know what they're doing around here. But we're really fortunate to have Devon. He's big. You know, a lot of corners are five nine. You know, five eight corners. This kid is big. He has long arms. He was a kid that Reggie Johnson had on our campus at Arkansas. Um, he came to the um, to the camp this summer, so we got, we got to see him work at the camp. Um, he was committed when we got here. We just had to do a good job making sure no one went in and you know stole him from us. He's a good student. His um, dad is a graduate of UAB. Um, he's a really good fit for our program. The next kid is Roscoe Bird. Roscoe is a 6'3", 310-pound athlete um, from Albany, Georgia. Um, the reason we list him as an athlete is because our, um, our offensive line, Coach Gilbert and Jimmy Williams, are still fighting over what position Roscoe is going to play. Um, I got to go to Roscoe's basketball game and see him run up and down the field as a, you know, 300 or run up and down the court as a 310-pound man. And it was unbelievable. He plays both sides of the ball in high school. He never comes off the field. He's a three-sport athlete. He's a part of the basketball team, which he's a captain. He's a part of the track, which he won the state championship in the shot put. So he's a tremendous athlete. And as tall, as long, and as big as he is, I think he can really be a um, disruptive force for us as defensive tackle. But at the same time, he could be a really good offensive guard. So I'm not quite sure. The next kid is um, Destin Challenger. Destin is from, he's a 5'11", 215 pound kid from Hoover, Alabama, Spain Park. Chip is his coach also. Um, for us, we have this hybrid position in our defense. There's a kid by the name of Jericho Nelson that played for us um, the last four years. And he played this outside like safety linebacker type of position. And that's where we see um, Destin fitting in for us. He played safety for Spain Park. He was really athletic, made a lot of plays on the ball, um, but then he came down and made tackles um, and form tackles. So we feel like we can play him close to the ball. He's a really good student. Um, and him and Devon Brown are teammates, so it's going to be good to have both guys on our team. The next kid is Ben Kraft. Um, ben, 6'2", 200-pound quarterback from um, Briarwood. Um, I got, me and Tyson got to go to see Coach Yancey. When I walked into Coach Yancey's office, he had this bookshelf full of leadership books. And he said to me, you never can stop learning on how to lead. And then it just dawned on me, there was another example of the type of coaches that these guys have around here. And we have a lot in common. I read a lot of leadership books also, so we were able to talk about different ways to lead and different ways to motivate and manage quarterbacks. Um, but Ben is a kid that um, he's a, he has a lot to do with this recruiting class. Ben got on the phone. Ben was always around. I really appreciate the way he um, – you know, approach this recruiting season, and he would always call me and say, oh, we're going to get this guy. I'm going to go after him, coach, and make sure we get him. Um, so I really appreciate that from Ben and his family. But Ben is a winner. It says that he was 25-4 and four in the last two years. He had 35 touchdown passes last year. Um, he helped lead his team to a state runner-up in 2010. We're always looking for a winner to play quarterback. I call it competitive greatness, guys that can perform at their best when their best is needed. That's the person you need to play quarterback for you. So we're really fortunate to have Ben coming in. The next kid is Grant Davis. Grant is a 6'4", 255-pound tight end. 
Um, um, Grant is from the Houston area, Kingwood High School. Um, Richard Owens, um, our tight ends coach, um, got to work with um, Grant at camp with us in, when we were in Arkansas. Um, you know, and then once Richard got to town, that's the first name he brought up. It was a kid that we had an experience with. What's important to us is that we coach a kid and see how he's going to accept the coaching. See if he's a willing and fast learner. Because if he is, we can train him on how to be a good football player. That's our philosophy. And Richard said when he worked with him in camp, he's really big, he's athletic, and he wants to be a good player. He wants to learn how to be a great player. Um, we were able to get him in here on an unofficial visit. Um, his dad brought him to town. We were able to walk him around campus and we wanted to show him who we were. We went, didn't want to hide anything about our program. And um, the kid has decided to join our ball club. He's going to be the type of tight end that can dominate the perimeter of the field of the formation so that you can run the ball outside. When you have tight ends that are bigger than the defensive ends, you can run the ball on the perimeter. And that's how you win. Justin Forehand is the next kid. Justin is six foot five, 285 pounds. Um, I saw him a couple of weeks ago. I think he's bigger. He's probably about 310. I think he's um, been eating a lot. Um, but he's so tall that it doesn't look like he's that. It, it doesn't look like he's that big. Um, but Justin was the, one of the first kids that I went into his home and sold this vision that we had of the program. Um, his mom and dad were there, and I talked to him about what everyone has said about UAB and what I think about UAB, and they're completely different. And his dad, you know, looked at me, and then a couple of days later, they called back and said, we want to come to school at UAB. Since then, he's been around a lot. Um, him and Ben Craft together, um, along with Jake, um, have been, you know, kind of the ring leaders with this recruiting class to make sure everybody's thinking the same things. I think that's why we didn't have any problems today. But I really am um, happy about Justin Forehand because he's so big, he's so long. He'll be able to play tackle for us. If he can't play tackle, he can play guard for us and handle three tech. Techniques. Another thing is he really wanted to be in school here. Great student also. Jake Gaines is the next kid, six foot two, 190 pound safety here from Birmingham Chelsea High School. Um, we got to go to um, Jake Gaines basketball game to see him run around on the floor, move around. He has great footwork. He's a competitor. When we watch this film as a staff, um, one of our coaches, I always go around the room and ask everybody what they think about the kid. And what kept coming up was the kid's a winner. He plays like a winner. That's why we want him on our team. He's tall, he's long, he's gonna have the ability to read the quarterback and run from sideline to sideline and get interceptions for us. He's a leader um, and the kid's done nothing but win. So um, we're really fortunate to have Jake on our team. He's a member of the National Honor Society, a standout student at his school also. The next kid is Devin Gordon. Devin Gordon is six foot four, 285 pound offensive tackle from Gatson City, Alabama. Um, Coach Gilbert did a good job of um, going up there recruiting um, Devin. Um, we went up and saw Coach Billingsley, his head coach, talk with him for a while. The story is Devin was um, committed to Southern Miss um, when we got to town here. Um, you know, I was told there were some people outside of our campus that had told me that, you know, no one had ever decommitted from Southern Miss and came to UAB that was from Alabama. That's never happened or it hadn't happened in a while. Um, so Devin came on his trip. Obviously, that was a um, challenge for me um, when someone says the word never. Um, Devin came on his trip. Um, we he came with his mom. Um, and on Sunday morning when we have our exit interviews with them, you know, I said, well, Devin, a lot of people say that, you know, no one's going to decommit from Southern Miss and come to UAB. And Devin said, Coach, you've told me all weekend things are going to change around here, right? I went, yeah. He said, well, that's going to change also. I'm coming to UAB. And me and Coach Gilbert just jumped up and grabbed him and hugged him. But this kid is tall. He's really light on his feet. It's amazing how quick and athletic he is for a kid this tall. Um, we're really excited. He's going to be able to play what we call quick tackle, which is open side tackle. So he doesn't get much help. You have to be a really good athlete to play back there. Um, and Devin's a kid that can play back there because he has the, you know, his feet are light enough for him to play back there. The next kid is Hisham Hawk. Um, Hisham is an offensive lineman also. He's 6'4", 305 from Huntsville, Alabama. 
Um, you know, the kid's a three-sport athlete. He's track and field. He's a wrestler. Also plays football. His size, his ability, his commitment to be a blocker is what fires us up about him. He can play guard or tackle. He's a really good kid. When I talked to him this morning, you know, he was really fired up about coming to school here. Um, and, you know, we got his one of his teammates also. They can't wait to be roommates. Um, just a great person, great kid, great student, and a really good offensive lineman also. Next kid is Nike Height. Nike's an athlete, 6'2", 190 pounds from uh, Marietta, Georgia. Um, we're not sure if he's going to play wide receiver or defensive back. He has the ability to do both. We just have to see where our roster fits after spring ball, see where we need immediate help. But he has the ability to do both. Um, I really like the kid. He's been through a really tough um, life. But he, through everything he's went through, he's maintained a really high GPA. And those are the type of kids I like dealing with, kids that have been through tough times, but they're able to stay focused and continue to make good grades and do the right thing. And so I'm really excited about this kid. I think he's a special p person um, and a good football player. The next kid is Shaq Jones. Shaq, 6'3", 200-pound linebacker from Lynette, Alabama. Um, Shaq, as we know, when Shaq came in on his trip, all of our coaches were in awe of his size, his height. Um, when Mike Jones measured him in the um, training room, he had an 84-inch wingspan. He's only going to get bigger. Um, Shaq is, you know, potentially a star. I think Shaq can play for any school in the United States of America. When his facts came through today and he really did sign with us, I had the biggest smile on my face. He's a great person. I was able to go down and uh, meet with the principal to ask, tell me what the kid's like when nobody's around. And the principal has nothing but good things to say about the kid. He's always smiling, just a great person. We're just in a small town back here. Not many people come in here recruit. Um, so we're really fortunate to have Shaq. He's a three-sport athlete also. He's a basketball player, leading scorer. Um, he's also a part of the state championship track team. He was a 400-meter champion. So he's a fast guy, um, really physical. Just really fortunate to have Shaq on our team. Vashawn Landers is next. Vashawn is a corner. We really thought we needed to um, get more depth with our defensive backs. Um, so we got, you know, Vashawn. Vashawn is a 4.0 student. Um, he's six foot one. He's long arm, so he's really like a 6'2 um, corner, 175 pounds from Opelika. I was able to go down there and meet with Coach Blackman for a while. We stood on the board and talked about offensive football for about an hour and all of his rules and his philosophies compared to mine. And when I left, I thought that kid is well coached because their coach understands the game. So I'm really excited about Vashon. He's a big corner. Um, it's something that not a lot of people have is 6'1 corners. It makes it hard to throw the ball in the area because their arms are so long. They can knock the ball down. They're able to jam wide receivers or press wide receivers at the line of scrimmage because their arms are so long. Then they just take up a lot of space because they have length. Vashon is also a part of the track team. And like I said, he's a 4.0 student. Let's see. Roderick McKinney. Roderick McKinney is a defensive end, 6'4", 240 from Birmingham, Woodlawn High School. I've had a lot of conversations in the last um, week or so with Coach Breland, his head coach, about the kid, um, about his family. When his family came on the recruiting trip, we were able to sit back and watch his family, um, watch the support that the kid had. Um, coach Williams, our defensive line coach, is in love with the family. The kid has the right structure, the right background. Um, we're really fortunate to have Roderick in our program. Um, he won Wanted to be a UAB Blazer, which is something that's important to me. Um, he's tall. He has um, really great get off as a defensive end, closing speed. He's a really aggressive kid, hard worker. So we're really um, fortunate to have Roderick come in with us. John Tavius Morris is next. John Tavius is six foot two, 295 from Albany, Georgia. Him and Roscoe are teammates. Um, John, um, John Tavis is explosive. He will be a defensive tackle with three technique, which is the defensive lineman that's more athletic. He's explosive. He plays one-on-one -on -one with guards. He's able to beat guards off the edge and push the pocket. Um, but we're really fortunate to have John Tavis. I got to watch those kids play in the basketball game. 
And it was amazing to see 300 pound, two 300 pound kids on the floor at the same time running up and down the field and jumping and getting rebounds and um, taking charges. And I just, I can't believe the athletes that these two kids are. So we're really fortunate to have those guys in our program. Michael um, Parada, Michael's an athlete, 6'3", 232 pounds from Ponte Vedra Beach, Florida. His head coach was one of my coaches um, when I was growing up. Um, he's a winner. He plays tight end, wide receiver, defensive end linebacker we're not quite sure um, an athlete like that you always find a place for him to play he's a really good student um, he's committed to being a good football player that's the type of kid we wanted um, him being an athlete you know if we need help at tight end if we need help at defensive end we need help at linebacker he has the ability the ability to play all three positions so um, we're really happy about him the next kid, Larry Petaway, is a linebacker, 6'2", 210 pounds from 8 Mile. He went to Blunt High School where Coach Sigler is down there. Um, I got to go in Larry's home and meet with the, him and his parents. Um, his dad's a hunter. Um, he had um, deer heads on the wall as I walked in. I almost bumped my head on all of them. He has a few of them on the wall. Um, but what a great family. Um, what a great kid. Um, they were so fired up that we wanted the kid to come to UAB and play for us, get a degree from this place. Um, you know, and, and guys that really want to be here are the guys we want. Um, he's another good student. Um, we're really fortunate to have Larry with us. Steve Pickering is the next kid. He's six foot four, 245 pounds from Pell City. Um, Steve is either going to play defensive line or tight end for us. We're not quite sure. Um, he only played tight end in goal line situations in high school. He didn't play much tight end, um, you know, in the open field. He played defensive line. And I think he had 12 sacks last year. His defensive line film was really good. Um, he came to camp last year, Coach Helton tells us. And he did a really good job at tight end. Um, he was offered as a tight end. I think he's committed to us as a tight end. But we're not quite sure what position he's going to play for us. Um, next kid is Chris Rabb. Um, Chris, is a, we got him listed as a linebacker. Um, he should be listed as a football player. Um, Chris is 5'10", um, 220 pounds. He does not want to be listed as 5'11 or 6 foot. He enjoys his size. He's comfortable with who he is. Um, I think he's one of the most productive football players that I've seen on video. He is undersized, but he doesn't care. He believes in playing the cards he's dealt. And I, I said, man, a lot of, not a lot of people um, are recruiting you because of your size. He said, I know. They're all going to miss out. You know, there's no doubt. And he's right. Um, we're really fortunate to have the kid in our program. We have him listed as a linebacker, um, but he's, um, Tyson tells me that he's one of the most productive defensive players that have been in this state in a while. Um, he's a winner. You know he's coming from a really good program um, where Coach Scott is out there. So we're fortunate to have Chris. Next kid is Victor Salako. Um, Victor is one of my favorite guys. Um, during the exit interview, um, at the on the official visit, Vic, Victor walked in. He's six foot six, um, 315 pounds. He walked in with a tie on, um, and I was just like, "Look at this big giant kid! Biggest smile of all times." Um, but he's athletic. Um, he's a really good student. He has great parents. His sister is in school here at UAB. She actually lives in Rast Hall. Um, so it's just a great fit for us. His parents were really happy. Um, I think there was an email that came to um, Coach Helton. Coach Helton forwarded the email to Coach um, Gilbert. Uh, we, we follow up on every email. We follow up on every call. And Coach Gilbert walked in my office and said, look at these two guys. And it was Hashem and Victor. And we were able to bring them down on visits. Their parents came with them. And both kids wanted to be UAB Blazers. They're really good students. Um, Victor is an honor student also. The next kid is Dominic Sylvester. Dominic is one of the two um, junior college players. He was a qualifier out of high school. He was a you know really good student out of high school. He just was not getting recruited by the schools that he wanted to get recruited by. So he went to um, Alfred State in New York City. Um, coach Gilbert's brother is his position coach. He called us and said, I have a 6'4", 315-pound kid that's playing center for me. Um, we, want, we know we lost four of our starting offensive linemen last year, so we wanted to upgrade. This is a great person. 
he walked in the room the first day with his khakis on and his hard shoes and his shirt tucked in, collared shirt. Then I went, this guy looks like a UAB student here, there's no doubt. Um, but we're just fortunate to have him. He called this morning after he sent his fax in. He was all excited. He said him and Victor have spent a lot of time on the phone just talking about their future, developing, being great friends. Um, so he's going to really fit in our program. The last kid is Nick Young. Nick is a wide receiver, 6'2", 180 pounds from Homewood here in Alabama. Um, and every we watched the film again this morning on all of our kids. And every time we watch Nick's film, he gets better and better. Um, so we're really excited. We need receivers in this offense um, for us to move the ball the way we want to move the ball. Nick's another really fast, speedy, productive receiver. Um, when he came on his visit, he had this mohawk, this blonde mohawk looking hairdo. And I said, for you to play on our team, you're going to have to cut that thing. And then he called me back a couple days later and said, all right, coach, it's cut. You know, so I really like that about the kid, that he wanted to be on the team enough to change his do or change his look, sorry. Um, so that's our kids. We're really excited. We had no surprises. We got everybody we wanted. Um, we were able to upgrade at offensive line. We got six offensive linemen, all from the state of Alabama. They're all from 6'4 to 6'6. Um, they're, they're big. We got tight ends that are from 6'3 to 6'5. We got corners that are 5'11 to 6 foot. Um, so we're really fortunate. We've got two really good quarterbacks, which you have to have quarterbacks to win. Um, so we're really fortunate um, with our recruiting class, and I'm really happy to be the head coach here because of the high school football that's going on here in the state of Alabama.